二零一四年十一月二十四日，卑诗省华裔社区对卑诗省儿童医院的支持由来已久。他们将连同嘉宾们于二零一五年一月二十四日在温哥华会展中心举行的二零一五天下父母亲二十周年奇妙之旅筹款晚宴中庆祝此辉煌历史及成就，同时会在晚宴内表扬由华裔社群所发起的“二二行动”成功募捐五百万元。以支持建于卑诗省儿童医院的最主要大楼内的儿科癌症病房。卑诗省儿童医院基金会主席及行政总裁 Terry Nicholas 表示，在过去的二十五年，华裔社区共为儿童医院筹得超过六千万元的善款，成绩之佳实在令人惊讶。我们衷心感谢华裔群体对卑诗省儿童医院和本省家庭及儿童的长期支持及承诺。如天下父母心，就是其中一个为宾客提供支持儿童医院及儿童行动的机会。To welcome、uh, you all to BC Children's Hospital, and I'm Terry Nicholas, and I am the president and CEO of BC Children's Hospital Foundation. And I want to thank you for taking the time to be with us here today. And I'm very excited that you're joining us to celebrate this remarkable milestone. Before we get started, I'd like to acknowledge some special guests. We have、uh, Kevin Bent with us. He's a board member and he's the former board chair of BC Children's Hospital Foundation. Hi, Kevin.、Uh, someone you know very well is、uh, Mike Lamb. He's a long-term volunteer and a foundation board member. Angel Chan, chair of the 2015 for Children We Care Gala. Angel, oh there she is. Dr. Heather Bray with the Department of Radiology. Dr. Karen Strollendorf, the new department head of Oncology, Hematology, and Bone Marrow Transplant. Whoa. <laughs> And last but not least, we have Brooke McNeil, who is a patient at the hospital. So, Brooke, would you wave as well? Okay. <laughs> so, welcome everyone. Today, is, we officially kick off our activities leading up to the For Children We Care Gala, and we will be celebrating the 20th anniversary at the Convention Center on January 24th. We are also recognizing the Chinese Canadian community's achievements in supporting child health, including your recent success. 卑诗省儿童医院基金会董事局成员及“二儿行动”发起人之一林定宇表示：“这是一个参与创造奇迹及改善社会的难得机会，能够回馈社会实在是一个荣幸。一个生病的孩子确实会影响每一个人。天下父母心二十周年筹款晚宴标志着二十载努力的筹款工作。”致力于满足卑诗省儿童医院各项最迫切的需要，从儿科癌症研究及精神健康资源以及医疗设备。此外，晚宴今年的筹款目标是五十万元，为儿童医院的放射部门更换两部急切需要的超声波扫描仪器。二零一五天下父母心筹款晚宴筹委会主席邓丽贤说：“先进的超声波仪器是非常重要的。”因为更清晰的图像和最新的技术将有助于医护人员对孩子的情况做出准确的诊断。Thanks, Terry. It's been an event that takes years to complete, and you did it. You all helped get it done, and thank you so much. Let me take you back to、um, how it was started. You see, when I was working、uh, with the Miracle Weekend team. Back in 2005 to 2008, I saw the mining group funded a smart OR operating room, smart operating room, and they continue to point out that one achievement and say that's what we built, that's how it helped our sick kids. And I thought, what a really smart way to engage donors and volunteers. And It's also very visual. There's no guesswork of how you know this particular facilities will help. So I like that, and I wanted to pitch the idea to Candice, a、uh, director at the foundation then, and she supported it, and we bantered the idea at a summer barbecue in Sandy So's home. So Sandy, you're great. You open your home to us, and、uh, things do happen around your kitchen table. Believe it or not, it was a great happening. 
Thanks, Sandy. Now, the snowball effect really took over, especially when chairs of For Children We Care dinner and Miracle Weekend, uh, Chinese Canadian Miracle Weekend chairs came on board. And the rest is history. Mike, and, and thank for you for sharing um, your history with us, um, which is the history of so many of you in this room and how you have helped to support BC Children's Hospital. So now to tell you more about the oncology inpatient unit that you're supporting through your $5 million gift, I'd like to ask uh, Karen, Dr. Karen Stalendorf to please come up, say a few words. Good evening, everybody, and it's indeed a pleasure to be here with all of you um, tonight to share in your success. I'm thrilled to be the new head of hematology, oncology, and bone marrow transplant and excited about the possibilities that lay ahead of, of all of us. As a community, as the care team, and people like you, we come together to enrich the lives of children with cancer and blood disorders across the province of British Columbia. When I started in pediatric oncology about the same time that you were starting your galas more than 20 years ago, um, the world of oncology was very different. Um, in, that, in those days, four out of every 10 children were surviving cancer. We had hospitals that had big multi-bed units. Uh, we didn't know about infections and infection control in those days. There was never food on the oncology wards um, because we, we weren't good at supportive care. We didn't know how to control vomiting from chemotherapy. And we had visiting hours. Parents came at certain hours to visit their children, and children went through these treatments alone. We were only starting to understand the psychosocial impact of cancer on families, um, and we had very little idea about the real reason behind cancer and what was driving it. Every year, many of you come out to enjoy a night of great company, great fruit, and to show your support. It's my honor to chair this gala for a third time. I'm happy to announce that this year we are hoping to raise $500,000 to help BC Children's Hospital purchase two urgently needed ultrasound machines for its radiology department. These machines will go a long way to help the thousands who require examination use ultrasound machines each year. Ultrasounds are extremely important in helping doctors figure out exactly what is wrong with a child so that they can accurately diagnose the patient's condition and determine the appropriate cause of treatment. It's much safer technology than MRI CT scan or x-ray to use on children because the patient is not exposed to radiation or any risk. Thank you for watching today's Da Wen story. We'll see you next time.